Alrighty, well, hi everybody, and back on, and cast time once again, so it's, um, I think it's been at least a week since I've done one of these, just, uh, been in the throes of a cold, so, my voice was shot to hell up until, uh, up until today, so, uh, even today, though, my voice ain't 100% restored, but I figured, eh, what the hell, why not go ahead and do one, so. And then, like usual, I'm gonna have some music playing in the background, um, this time around, it's going to be a ambient Eldritch music, Eldritch music. I actually had something else lined up for this, but, uh, um, this popped up on my YouTube recommendations, fired it up, I'm like, holy shit, this is cool stuff. So, <clears throat> so it pretty much, uh, it, uh, it pretty much inspired the, uh, the, I totally lost the word I was looking for, the background, I guess, uh, what <coughs> <coughs> but I might talk more about it, but um, I'm most of the way over my cold, but there's still going to be some hacking and coughing from time to time, so just to give you guys a heads up. So, And yes, I probably sound like Gabriel Logan from, from Siphon Filter. It's, it's, it's the first thing that comes to mind when I hear myself talk, so... But anyway, back to the subject. Um... Ambient Eldritch music, good shit, definitely worth uh, throwing on the cast. So. Oh, and there's been a fair amount of last-second alterations to this video. Um, things I didn't have time, have enough time to process, for lack of a better word. So there might be some mistakes being made here and there. Because like I said. Some of the stuff was just uh, slap dash thrown together at the very last moment. So. <clears throat> anyway, let's get her started. Um, but yeah, um, since. Since I had most of my. Since I got uh, the majority of my voice back. And on top of. <coughs> and uh, this. Despite the fact that I had basically zero sleep. Because, um. Throughout the whole entire morning, um, I was basically hacking up along the whole time. I had one of those coughs that it's it, uh, it it's not that bad when you're standing up and moving around and stuff, but once you lay down, that's when the coughing really kicks in. So that's what I had to deal with all morning when sleeping. So so yeah, I would lay down and then. Just before I'm about to slip, <laughs> I just start coughing up a storm, and it just be a rinse and repeat. So, but again, despite this, um, despite my alarm going, you know, alarm going off at 1:30 p.m., I just said, "Huh, fuck it, all right, let's start the day." Um, I kind of, kind of talked to myself a bit, and I noticed, hey, I'm, I got most of my voice back. It doesn't hurt to talk. So, I figure, based on that, may just as well go ahead and get a stream going. So, and I think it's a little off my end. Yes, it is. So, I'm going to turn it down a little bit. So, um, got the stream going. Um, started with FX3, and this time around, it didn't crash. So, but unfortunately, I totally sucked. So, yeah, it's like, the one time I can actually get on FX3, I, I do pretty horse shit. So, this, uh, this week's the matchup league, I'm pretty much gonna have to, <coughs> <coughs> okay, anyway, uh, pretty much gonna have to do a fair amount of catching up. Uh, I'm definitely gonna have to be playing more often, which I don't see happening, considering the constant trend of my, uh, game crashing. So... I might be dropping down yet another tier. So, and then, um, Pimple Arcade, I think it went good. It most certainly went better than FX3, though, which is pretty rare. Usually, it's the other way around. Usually, I do better on FX3 than I do on Pimple Arcade, but not this time. And, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a drink of some water here. Hold on.
so yeah, like I said, um, Pinball Arcade went pretty good. Um, and then after that, I switched over to Zachariah Pinball, where more of the same. I actually did pretty good on old Zachyville, too. Uh, better than FX3, and, and, and Zach's the worst. I do uh, better on Pinball Arcade than I do on Zachariah, but no. I did about as well on Zachariah as I did on Arcade. Again, both of these better than FX3. It's like, the one time FX3 actually works on my computer, I can't do shit. So, so it, it's basically a bittersweet day today as far as the stream goes. But overall, though, good to be back. You know, good to be back streaming pinball. Um, I may talk more on this later, but um, this might maybe even uh, maybe still uh, peppering some of these streams, uh, streaming auto games. But <coughs> <coughs> oh. oh yeah something else I forgot I forgot to mention too um these uh these coughing fits I'm getting I think I read somewhere and I was going through the same thing at work too um they um the coughing gets worse at night than it does during the day I can't remember the exact biological reason for it or something but yeah like I said I remember I remember reading it in some article. Usually these kind of problems actually get worse at night than they do during the daytime. So. Uh, something fell over. It's not like my neighbor below me or something. I have to give it a look. But anyway, so that's the stream um so hopefully i should be able to do another tomorrow but uh one other thing um a guy um what are the um a legendary fighting gamer named rufal monger uh he actually discovered this new game um i think it came out sometime this week it's called Mega Knockdown. It's like a, it's a turn-based fighting game. Which I, I, again, I watched this video. I'm like, hey, this is pretty interesting. <coughs> and it seems I'm starting to lose my voice, meaning I might end up, uh, if my voice gets really bad, I might end up abandoning this cast. But we'll see. Anyway. Or, or maybe end up uh, cutting this cast short. I actually had quite a bit. I forgot to say this at the start. But yeah, um, the way uh, my voice is feeling right now, I might end up cutting it off early. But again, we'll see. So yeah, um, Mega Knockdown. It's actually a turn-based a turn-based fighting game. He was, you know, he was just kind of doing a doing a gameplay demo of it. it you um. I think uh, for your turn, you have to you have to select a move, and then select an attack or select a type of defense like like a block or something or a parry, you know that kind of thing. But yeah, you you choose a movement and then you choose an action. But I mean, me being the huge fan of turn-based RPGs like I am, you know, like like Baldur's Gate. Um, I, names on the tip of my tongue Slay the Spire and then um you know and then Magic the Gathering that kind of thing which now that I think about it let me see if I can dig it up real quick now came to mind I just now thought of this and hopefully I didn't fuck it up
So let me try that again. No, I'm in studio more than yet it decides to pop the damn thing up anyway. Well, so much for that. Yeah, that's a bit embarrassing. So yeah, it's called Yomi. It was um, it was one of the original uh, fighting game uh, card games. But yeah, like I said, I had just now thought of that, and yeah, I I messed that up. So, but when, hang on, I forgot what I was gonna say. So, but, um, it's something else that kind of reminded me of, and I just thought of this, too, while putting together this, uh, putting, putting together this cast video. Um, Street Fighter 4, I guess, uh, I learned some odd years ago, it was also supposed to be, uh, a turn, originally meant to be a turn-based game. The, the game, the Capcom developers, they were, they were complaining about, they are actually complaining about this, you know? Lots of players just, you know, plopping down so much time on the game they got so damn good at it that new players don't stand a chance so and I kind of related to it too cause you know when we playing MMOs and stuff you know like when you do dungeon runs with other players etc you know other players that have been grinding the shit out of the game and you know getting all this powerful equipment uh World of Warcraft comes to mind I think to a lesser extent Final Fantasy 14 you know you try you're, you know, you're new to the player, new to the dungeon or whatever. You drop in with a bunch of guys that have been playing the game for years. You know, they've been grinding raids and getting the super epic gear. It's like, it's pointless to be there. It's like they're doing all the work. You're just basically playing catch up. You're just trying to keep up with them. So, so get, so, you know, it's kind of the same thing with, um, with uh, fighting games. If you're new to fighting games, you're going to get your ass handed to you in a high hat. Because your opponent, most likely, he's been grinding the fuck out of the game. Just, you know, plucking the hours down, you know, just playing it constantly. I'm not saying... I'm not saying that is a bad thing. I mean, that's devotion and dedication. But at the, but again, uh, for the new players, it's probably going to turn... It's probably going to... A lot of times, it's going to turn them off. I mean... You pick up a game for the for the first time against an opponent and you just you just get steamrolled. I mean you'll probably go find better things to do with your time. So but I think that was a that was the same reasoning that the Capcom developers had for wanting to make make the next Street Fighter game a turn based game. You know, because now everybody's got a chance. You know, cause then it, it just comes down to simple decision making and not not execution, not doing your uh, motion inputs and stuff. Hold on. <coughs> so, so, but yeah, like I said, uh, while putting this cast together, I that also came up. Well, that also came up. So, I'm guessing Mega Knockdown was was going to be the the Street Fighter Four that the Capcom developers originally intended, but. Um, I originally for today's stream that's what I was wanting to play. But the the games in like like major Uber super uh, super duper early access, like so much so that that uh they have no settings menu. I can't you know, I can't change the uh you know, I can't change the screen size, I can't adjust the music or anything like that. So I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to wait until the um until that option becomes available, cause I can't play that game on full screen, I, or I can't play anything on full screen. It's got to be windowed. So I'm gonna take another drink of water. So, but yeah, I think, um, 
as early as tomorrow if by some miracle they um they actually fix this issue then I'll I'll go ahead and I'll stream that game instead of pinball or at the very least stream it for a little while and then switch over to pinball you know in fact now I'm going to think about it, since I'm here, and since it's still fresh in my head, let me go ahead and actually fire up the game. Yeah, looks like the Yup, I got a settings menu. Alright, let me let me go here. Okay, turning full screen off. Um So changing the resolution. Twelve eighty by seven twenty. But yeah, it looks like they, they did add a they did add a settings menu during the time that I made this, that I was putting together this cast video. So let me go ahead. Let me see if I can get the game up. No, I'm not going to actually play the game. Okay, so... So, yeah, like I said, it looks like they have a settings option course on the downside let me check this real quick yeah and you can't I can't manually resize the window so that means I'm gonna have to play this game with uh, part of the bottom of the game being gone so yeah it looks so it looks like um so probably tomorrow probably tomorrow I'll probably um I'll at least start with this game and just again play it for a little while but like I said I've only seen the game I've never actually played it so yeah I'll probably I'll probably play it long enough to like do the tutorial or something just do that and then um we just uh, pop on over to pinball so. <coughs> and then And then, um, because my voice is kind of on the, um, kind of on the raspy side, and it's just, um, it's like I'm overblowing notes, if that makes any sense at all. Um, I actually had more on this video, but the short, an the short answer, I'll probably just post the link to this article. I'll just post the link to, in the comments. But it's going to be one of those where I'll probably be talking quite a bit. So, like I said, I'm I'm feeling some wear and tear on my voice from all the talking. Thinking maybe this cast video wasn't such a great idea. But, so yeah, I'll just go ahead and cut it off here. So, but, otherwise, um, thanks for, thanks for drop, thanks for tuning in and listening to me, everybody. I appreciate that. And, um, sorry I couldn't have, uh, Sorry I had to abandon the video like I did, but like I said, um, it's, I'm starting to, my uh, voice is getting a little raspy and I'm starting to, I'm starting to drop notes and stuff like that, if that makes any sense at all, so I'll, I'll just go ahead and call it off here. <coughs> 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 <coughs>
And then tomorrow, chances are I. <coughs> oh, then tomorrow, chances are I'll probably won't do another cast video. I'll I might actually lay low on the cast videos for another while, or for a for a while. Maybe not do any at all for the rest of this week, just to give my voice a better chance to recover. So. But otherwise, once again, thanks for um, thanks for tuning in and listening to me, everybody. I appreciate that. And um, but yeah, just just until next time, everybody. Take care. I forgot what I was gonna say. <laughs>